Thank you for joining us. You're welcome to follow us on Facebook, YouTube, our website, Our Lord is Building His Kingdom. Join us in helping our Lord harvesting souls for His kingdom. Thank you for watching Christ the King Church, Shelby, North Carolina's Healing Center. Visit our website, www.christthekingshelby.org and check us out on Facebook and YouTube. I'll put your hands right here toward Him. And let's just pray for Him. Heavenly Father, Lord, we just ask You just to pour out Your anointing on yes. our pastor. Lord, pour out and stir up the gifts of the Holy Spirit that's inside of him. And Lord, Father God, we just ask You just to bless him as he blesses us this morning. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 God is good, isn't He? I was thinking about a scripture. Uh, if I can locate it. I think it's 2 Corinthians chapter 4. I'd like to read this to you this morning before I open my teaching. This is for those of you who do not receive your healing. Second Corinthians chapter 4. I'd like to begin reading about verse 7 if you follow me in your scriptures or whatever you follow me in or on. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. We are hard pressed on every side, yet not crushed. We're perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Struck down, but not destroyed. Always caring about in the body, the dying of the Lord Jesus Christ, that the life of Jesus, say life of Jesus, life of Jesus. also may be manifested in our body. For we who live are always delivered to death for Jesus' sake, that the life of Jesus may also be manifested in our mortal flesh. So then, death is working in us, but life in you. Since we have the same spirit of faith, according to what is written, I believe and therefore I spoke. We also believe and therefore speak, knowing that he who raised up the Lord Jesus will also raise us up with Jesus and will present us with you. For all things are for your sake, that grace having spread through the many may cause thanksgiving to abound in the glory of God. Therefore, we do not lose heart. Even though our outward man is perishing, the inward man is being renewed day by day. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, is working for you a far more greater great, ex, far more exceedingly an eternal weight of glory. While we do not look at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporary. That means they can change, and they are changing. But the things which are not seen are eternal. Watch this now. For if we know that our earthly house, that's this physical body we're living in, if this earthly house, this tent, be destroyed, we have a building from God. A house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. Can you say praise God? Praise God. Thank you, Lord, for the word of the Lord.
reminds us when it's over here, it's just beginning there. So Lord, take what's been said, take the songs that's been sung this morning. I just gather up all of that anointing now and I loose it upon the people of God that this is the day the Lord has made. We're going to rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Thank you for joining us. You're welcome to follow us on Facebook, YouTube, our website, Our Lord is Building His Kingdom. Join us in helping our Lord harvesting souls for His kingdom. Thank you for watching Christ the King Church, Shelby, North Carolina's Healing Center. Visit our website, www.christthekingshelby.org and check us out on Facebook and YouTube.